I'm shooting this video today uh, as a response to many people that just don't seem to quite understand the uh, success between behind uh, many of my operational devices and it's really quite simple so so I want to show it in this manner this is a machine that I built quite some time back it's very simple it's not meant to try to uh, produce over unity however uh, it it may be in some way you, know, you can take a look at it when we operate it but uh, this is a spinning rotor and uh, you can see it's just got two sets of arched neos on it and uh, on top of it here I put a 10 pound steel weight yeah, it's steel, not foam. <laughs> and uh, just to show that uh, that actually uh, this can this can rotate and and turn this much weight, the bearings that the rotor is on is just some lazy Susan bearings. It's just real, real cheap. And all this is is an activator here, uh, kind of a, a activation method to to give you the repulsion of these as they come around. Let me spin it to this point here. And really all it does is I, I've got the two wires going into my battery box, into one of the ATV batteries. Typically I, I have a battery pack that's that I just set right here and and uh, it's double A batteries because this this solenoid is just so so small. Uh, it'll take up to 12 volts, but you know you can't run it for too long with with a lot of power from like even an ATV battery because it it wants to warm up just a little bit. So the double A's work really good. But all it does is is it, this is just so mechanical. Uh, I tried to keep uh, solid state circuitry out of this uh, totally uh, because uh, you know if there's if there's ever a problem if if you've got an over unity device and it's got a lot of solid state electronics and and there's some kind of an EMP or, or whatever that's going to just blow that circuitry. Keeping it mechanical as much as possible, it's still just going to keep on cranking. So this was really, really mechanical. I mean, I've got a little micro switch here. And what it does is you can see the strange shape of, of this thing. And as it rolls around, it engages and then it comes off and engages again so you can see what it's doing and every time it engages let me pull this past it this pulls in from the solenoid pulls in puts a little power pulls in and it's just like taking a magnet and and using a hand motion on a rotary device with neos on it and and really if you're looking for over unity there's really only two ways that, that are good ways that you're going to come by it and one is high frequency resonance and and the other is just a simple uh, mechanical rotary device that that employs neodymium magnets and and i think for replication purposes that uh... That that's the simpler way to go for most people most people don't quite have the education that that they'd like to have to work with with high frequency power so let's spin this up now i have to you know this is very crude uh, I have to I have to spin it with my finger and get it going, especially with a 10 pound weight. Not necessarily so without it, but uh, I've had up to about 30 pounds of steel weights on here, and I, and it still works up to 30. But I've just got this 10 pound on there, and it's it's pretty heavy, and uh, so I'll just spin it up and then just connect the power, and you can see it working. <laughs> I know it's very Rube Goldberg like I don't know if you've ever seen any Rube Goldberg devices but they're they're mechanical they're funny they're you know one thing's like a mousetrap game one thing leads to another leads to another and that's kind of what this does and round and round it goes and pushing that 10 pound steel weight while it does of course it's a balanced situation so you know it's not that hard to do but like I said, it'll it'll push up to 30 pounds and just goes round and round and round. And there you have it. That's it. Yeah, put coils on it, do this, do that. Well, this is one of my just demonstrator devices. Just to show the concept of the, the power of the repulsion of just a, a permanent magnet against a, another permanent magnet. I mean, look. It's driven by just the pulling of this little solenoid. This tiny little solenoid. That's pretty darn amazing. It would go for days. It would just run and run and run. It hardly draws anything. Run, 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 run. Okay. There you have it. Thanks.
let's uh, let's just connect it. Watch it spin. <laughs> Listen to the micro switch. Crazy, isn't it? It sure proves the point. That's what's operating a lot of my equipment. The fact that, that you're pulling that that force field out of these permanent magnets and utilizing in a way to you know gain a, an overunity condition or close to or even just high frequency if that's what you're into. See you next time.